Hi friends, welcome to Heretic Solutions. In continuation with previous sessions, we discussed about the embedded system introduction and as well as what is embedded operating system and embedded non operating system and number system importance. In continuation with that, uh, let's go more into this operating system fundamentals as well how to pro how to program in Linux operating system. So that is the main motto. Like you should understand what is Linux operating system and what way you are linking for programming in Linux operating system because as many companies are looking for Linux fundamentals candidates uh, who have aware of what is commands and what, what is the proper command for installations and tools and writing program and compile program and execute the program these are all fundamentals required from the beginner so on this so i just want to give you some brief info, info information on operating system fundamentals so here i just want to give you there are two different types of operating systems uh, you will find generally as a uses so which is general purpose operating system which is mostly used in our computers uh, or mobile phones or gadgets whatever you are but whereas a real time operating system which is where you can find in uh, washing machines or refrigerators or any particular applications you will find the real time operating systems see nowadays every product which is running with this real time operating systems where you are you are link up with this embedded embedded level more into this and general purpose operating systems are windows and linux uh, which is used in our computers for our daily activities okay like many of you you will you will write operating system windows windows xp windows 11 in our resumes okay so again your operating systems are available as two two things as a two ways one is gui and the second one is cui which is graphical user interface which is mostly operated with like mouse clicks and touch okay so whenever you are finding any option you are looking for any option from the computer so simply what you will do you will go the start button or icon on the computer and you will touch that and it automatically opens any drive or any folder or any any file okay but coming to this cui which is command user interface or command line interface so this required the proper command to create the folder or open the folder or again you want to see the files from the folder you should follow few commands so this command user interface which is mostly required for developers or system programmers so which is required mandatory in the industry okay so whereas which is your windows is mostly you will go with gui and the linux operating system which is offers both cui mode and as well as gui mode whereas gui mode which is just by clicking on the icon it will open and close so whatever the relative respective buttons you can choose Whereas CUI, you need to follow some terminal and commands. So all these you have to understand. So like to open terminal, what is thing and to open or close or again looking for specific file, how to open and again the file operations which are commonly required for any, any computer operator like how to copy the lines and how to delete the lines and how to paste the lines and how to go for page, page, page up page down and page uh, line end line before so all these things operations required in terms of commands so for that you should know the internal editors of in respective operating systems like for us in linux operating system you should know the vi editor commands and all this but i just want to give you a, a simple view of linux operating system and then what is real time operating system so generally any real time operating system which is which is available for us for application development mostly on ecos tiny os and mucos so there are many operating systems you will find where you are working in embedded stream and any operating system which is minimized for application purpose from your regular kernel okay so generally the kernel means it is a raw code of operating system and out of this kernel you need to pick your requirements whether you want to do modification with gpio which means io management or looking for memory management or looking for network management and looking for file system or 
inter process communications or many many more changes you need to do according to your application so once again if you do modifications and you build it it will become your required operating system so there is a general purpose operating system which is installed in our computers okay whereas coming to linux so you, our focus is very clear on linux operating system and linux operating system have some specific tree like this is file system from the linux like so once you go for windows operating system there is a program files folder from c drive so there you will find all the installed files from the computer okay like any operating system have different file folders and file systems okay out of this you should understand the brief information on operating system so this is how whereas the whereas the linux operating system allows multiple users see again uh, there is a single user system or multi user system in our operating systems whereas linux offers multi user multi user operating system but to create user so whatever the super user for your computer means administrator in our operating windows system okay like if you want to install any software in your computer it will ask for administration rights so because that is a super user of that particular computer okay the same way the linux has a standard super user is is a root and this will be the tree for your linux like which will supports bin and user library files and process proc files like many many other many other uh, folders you will find from your root user but out of this the root is a super for your linux computer system and you will find there are so many linux distributions and these distributions uh, which is have licensed like fedora ubuntu and red hat these are many more linux distribution systems are available for us and whatever the linux operating system you want you can install in your computer but for every operating system you will find the different scene screen from your hardware okay like if you go for windows mostly you will find a blue color uh, background of your computer screen whereas linux operating system you will find some orange and red mix of your uh, linux operating system computer screen okay so this is how but the linux distributions again which are individual from the different companies because they will design different features in their different distributions so they want to make more popular in their in their name okay so so that it will allows multiple drivers and multiple softwares come up with the operating system like once you install windows operating system in your computer it will give paint by default it will give some uh text files accessories or some fun games these are all individually installed for your individual operating system but if you install the same operating system in other computer again it will show the, uh, all the default apps default applications they will provide but once you install linux somehow if you need some driver installations or wifi driver installation sound driver installations individual few operating systems so this is how they have their own publicity or like widespread of uh, their names towards implementation okay whereas coming to cui like as a programmer or as a developer you need to understand your computer can operate in two modes one is cui mode and gui mode so once you are entering into cui mode or gui mode that depends on your choice so by using different options you can enter into cui to gui mode or gui to cui mode so but staying in gui mode or looking for terminal so you want to see this you can proceed control alt f1 from linux operating system so once you can install any flavor or any distribution of linux operating system like ubuntu or fedora or red hat you can you need to open the terminal to enter the commands but further once you are working with ubuntu my training should be on ubuntu so you are working with ubuntu ubuntu distribution system and in ubuntu you are looking to change your mode from gui to cui or cui to gui you need to follow few options here control alt f1 to f6 you can go from gui mode to cui mode once you want to come back from cui mode to gui mode you need to go or control alt f7 so that is from gui to cui mode and again to open the terminal from your computer like so you need to go control alt t so this is for terminal open from the linux ubuntu uh, and then you are looking for same terminal you want to open multiple tabs you need to go for control shift t so this is how 
you need to open the linux operating system or linux installed computer and creating user your own user and so moving from cui to gui and gui to uh, cui okay so with the different options and you need to understand like so there are different operating system names you will find as a developer okay so but if you need to deal with some few commands in linux operating system our main motto is so just describing what is linux operating system and uh, what are the most used commands for application development or program development so that we are going to see in the next next coming sessions okay and i'll i'll tell you the standard commands for editor and standard commands for uh, there is a syntax of standard commands from linux operating system all these things you will see in the next session thanks thanks for watching